Hi, my name is Onika. I am a weight loss coach and welcome back to my channel. So I'm excited to be back with another video about another dimension of the wellness wheel. The last video that I did about the wellness wheel was social wellness. And so this is an, the second video in this series in this series and it is about environmental wellness and so speaking of environment you can see that i am in a new space so normally i film in my room and typically right behind me or right behind me is usually my treadmill and sometimes i have like clothes my workout clothes hanging on it i have my closet behind me my bookshelf so Typically I have the camera very close up so that there's not a lot of distractions in the background. Um, but I figured this video is the perfect video to try a new space in my house that doesn't have as much distraction. I do have my um, swan painting back there that I did in a paint and sip class. But other than that, it's, you know, I think a better environment to film a video. So but that is what we are talking about today, environmental wellness and keeping this a similar format as the social wellness. We'll talk about what environmental wellness is, why it's important, and what are some ways to improve this uh, dimension of the wellness wheel. So let's get into what is environmental wellness. And I'm going to share some examples that I found online from some articles from different universities. And I will link all the articles that I get this information from in the description box. I'm going to share some definitions that I found about environmental wellness. But to start off very simply, your environment is pretty much your surroundings. So everything that surrounds you is your environment, your home, at work, outside, the planet. Anything that surrounds you, any and everything that surrounds you is your environment. So a good way to break this down is by your micro environments and your macro environments. Your micro environments are where you live, where you work, whereas your macro environments are the communities uh, that you're a part of or that you live in, your city or even the planet, as I mentioned before. So you have your micro and your macro environment. So envir environmental wellness really um, makes up a lot more than just than just us and kind of like are just little the little bubble that we are in but more than that but what about environmental wellness what about our surroundings what brings in the wellness part of environmental wellness is having good health uh, having an environment that is positive and stimulating an environment that's safe that provides a sense of safety and a sense of comfort um, it is the relationship that you have with your environment. So it's as simple as, you know, keeping our area clean. You know the difference when you clean your house and you change your sheets, you change, you know, your cleaning and vacuuming, like the feeling that you had before you cleaned and it might have been a hot mess. And then afterwards, when you go into your room and it's just clean and it smells good, it's, it, it's, a physical feeling but also emotional as well like my mental state gets better when i'm in a cleaner environment when i wake up and come down to the kitchen knowing that the night before i just cleaned it it just gets me better prepared even for the day so it's as simple as that keeping your environment clean and having a good relationship with yourself um, an article I found was that a core principle of environmental wellness, or it was saying a core principle of this dimension is respect. So respect for your environment, but and ultimately respect for yourself. So keeping that clean environment, um, and not just, again, not just your personal space, but also outside with your communities and the country, the planet. So that comes down to, you probably already know, recycling and conserving energy, uh, but also just for yourself, getting out into nature more and uh, being out in the sun versus 
versus being indoors, which I know for some people that can be challenging, especially with the seasons, but if you can be outside, it's just a great way to get connected with your environment and increase your environmental wellness, which um, again, I'll repeat these and share more at the end about ways to um, improve your environmental wellness. So pretty much that is environmental wellness, the relationship we have with our micro and our macro environments and the respect that we have for nature and for everyone and everything living in it. Now let's go into why environmental wellness is so important. And I've kind of already touched on it, especially with the emotional wellness um, and even intellectual wellness. It really has a strong impact on other dimensions of the wellness will, as all of the dimensions do, but you can definitely see it. And I'll give some examples that I just thought of, but we know that there are people that are in environments that are unsafe, they're unclean physically, maybe the people that are around them and how that impacts them growing up. So I obviously, you know, I think of the shows like My 600 Pound Life or Hoarders, and you can see in those shows the trauma that they experience based on the environment that they live in and the kind of continuous impact that has had on their life because of the environment that they remain in. You can see in hoarders that they might have had some kind of traumatic experience and now they're living in this space that honestly isn't very respectful to them or the people around them because you see in the show like it expands and goes out into the yard and other people are complaining but it just kind of shows when you're in a poor emotional state how that can impact your environmental wellness but also another example is you know being in maybe low income areas where there's not a lot of say fruits or vegetables how that can affect your nutritional wellness or your physical wellness because maybe you're not in an area with a lot of trees, a lot of green grass, it's a lot of just concrete and hard walls, how that can really impact um especially a young child growing up um if their environment isn't clean, how that can impact them intellectually, you know, how they learn. It's so important to have a quiet and clean space when you're learning. And I don't know if I said positive, but if I already said, I'm saying it again, a positive, clean, healthy space to be able to learn and grow is so important. And we see it all the time. We hear about all the time of young children just not in very clean spaces and it impacts them. Um, and you listening could have had a childhood like that where your environment impacted you in a negative way. Or even if your, your environment could have impacted you in a positive way. I had uh, my mom like made us clean our room. Um, every week we were uh, cleaning the whole house. So I, you know, lived in a good positive and clean environment and that really did help me in school. Um, obviously, if I will in another video talk about my weight loss journey and my health journey, but clearly in the nutritional and physical Basis of wellness. I was not doing too hot, but environmentally, and, and I guess I can touch on that. You know, I grew up in a house where we had a lot of soda and a lot of cookies, um, just a lot of foods that weren't um, nutritionally beneficial to me. And it showed, it, it definitely showed that. So, you know, my environments helped some areas of my life and other areas not so much. Um, and so it's very easy to see how we can impact um, our lives positively and also negatively, but also the things we do outside of our houses can really have a positive or negative impact. And also I wanted to share another fact that I found, and this is going back to walking outside more, but it says, and I'm just reading it off my cheat sheet here, but it says 71% of people found a reduction in depression after going for a walk outdoors. And so I think, you know, and this is in comparison to being indoors, but you know, it's another reason why it's so important to keep our communities clean so that we have the opportunity to go outside and breathe in fresh air um, and just kind of help us you know, with our physical
physical wellness being outside and our mental state. And I know for some of you, when you do get a chance to move more, just in general, it helps. Like it just feels good. It clears your mind. It improves, um, it improves your mood, it lessens any anxiety and any stress. And I and I know that's been proven in studies out there, um, how moving more and being outside really improves your mood and helps with stress. Now let's get in quickly into the how, even though I pretty much touched on most of these going through the what and the why. Um, but obviously the how is to keep a clean space, conserve energy, um, recycle more using reusable bags and so I automatically think about Kroger honestly also it's so much easier using a reusable grocery bag versus the plastic bags there because you can put so much more stuff in the reusable bag so I'm all for reusable bags uh, I just think it's so much easier uh, and also it has a good impact on the planet printing less you know, using more digital products, even though I will say I am guilty. I really like getting physical copies of a book. I just, uh, it just feels so good. But, you know, maybe in other areas I can print less and just use the digital copy. Um, you know, doing some spring cleaning in your own space. And also, I mentioned conserving energy, but ways to conserve energy. So, you know, using your car less if you're able to walk places. I know I live in a city that's not very walkable, so that's not quite possible. Um, but even, you know, turning off the lights in, if you're not in that area of the house, turn off the lights, unplug electronics. I try to unplug things that I'm not using all the time because I also have a power bill. And if that will bring down my bill, then, even better, <laughs> helping the environment and helping my wallet. So that is it for this video. Um, I am liking the wellness series. I'm actually learning a lot too as I do some research on it and it's definitely giving me ways to plan and improve certain areas. Um, environmental wellness is definitely an area I could work on. I will again leave the questions in the comment section just to give you or to help give you an idea if this is an area that you would like to work on or if you feel pretty confident in this area. So I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye!